The Ballistic Bands Shred Workout is gonna be all about focusing on our abs. We're gonna be moving through a lot of advanced level resistance bands moves to maximize our strength gains in our core. Play around with the resistance level a little bit during each exercise the first time you do this workout so you can make sure that you're maximizing your gains. Challenge yourself to fail at every position within the rep ranges provided. The Ballistic Bands Overhead Extensions and Crunch is gonna be a combination move working to failure. First, get your body a little bit loose with three sets of 10 crunches. Mount your ballistic band high and then pull that band down around your neck, but you're gonna hold that band away from your neck. Now we're gonna just complete simple crunch position moves with your pad out just a little bit to get great activation. As you can see, your abs are gonna start firing up a little bit with that three sets of 10s, but now we're gonna move our pad back a little bit and work for extension. You're gonna be trying to work down in a flat body position, but technique is key here so that we don't injure ourselves. Your hands should be above your head with your elbows still in front of your face. If you let your elbows rock up too much behind your head, you're gonna hurt your shoulders. So make sure that your hands are in front of your face and you've got a great stationary position. The next key that we gotta look at is our hips. If your hips are not rolled under, you're gonna have a little hyperextended back. We've gotta maintain great posture during this exercise. It's a bit of a pulse. You're falling into resistance. So we've gotta find the right level of resistance that equals our body weight. If you train with a lighter band, you're gonna find your face comes really close to the floor and we don't exactly want that. So find a band that offsets the amount of resistance that your body is providing on the way down. Give it a slight activation pulse and you'll come towards the ground and then you'll work your way up. Utilize your toes and your feet to kind of work as a lever to extend down faster or slower. As you get towards the floor, we've got to keep those hands in front and keep your hips underneath you. If this is a new position for you, you're almost going to feel like you're curled up in a ball slightly. But as you get used to it, you're going to be able to keep your butt cheeks squeezed and your hips rolled under, getting great activation, keeping our spine safe. Complete 10 to 12 of these pulsing reps and then hold for 10 seconds at the bottom. Your abs are gonna be on fire, but push through the 10 seconds and then roll right into the overhead crunch. This superset is really gonna overload your abs, so push yourself and maintain that great technique and you're gonna find some great gains in your core. The ballistic band standing rotations is gonna use a medium weight resistance band. Either use two, one, or a combination of three to find the right level for you. You're gonna come off of the mount slightly, wrap the ballistic bands around, pull it tight, and then stick your hands through so we can stay nice and safe. Your hand should be out in a nice position outside around shoulder width. We're gonna rotate quickly, keeping our hips engaged so that we get a little bit more oblique activation. Some power turns, we're gonna turn the back foot over and utilize that hip. But with the rotations, we're gonna try to really work the obliques, just twisting the top half and stabilizing as we come back towards the mount. 30 seconds on each side, continually moving for four total sets will wrap up this great rotation drill. The ballistic band side pull downs exercise is one of the best exercises you can do for your obliques. Go ahead and put your ballistic bands low on the mount and then work a little bit away from the mount. The key is that you have a slight amount of resistance pulling on your arm from the beginning position. So put that hand up above your head. You should already have a bit of resistance because you want the activation from the minute the drill begins. Lift the bottom leg up and the top leg. Top leg's gonna be your active leg, moving your knee in and out as we come down. Now, an easy way to think about your hand position is by simply making a muscle. You've got the band. We wanna make a muscle and pull it down towards our butt. You don't need to extend your hand down low. We don't need to come behind our body or in front of our body. You're gonna simply just make a muscle, pull it right back up. Make a muscle, pull it right back up. Now, this is gonna work simultaneously with your knee. So make sure that you crunch up, get the poles on both sides, and then move through 15 reps before rolling over and hitting the other side. Since we're working different muscle groups, we're gonna to continue to keep the pace extremely high, rolling back and forth, going right into the next exercise. Complete six sets on both sides, always moving quickly back and forth. The Ballistic Bands Modified Lemon Squeezers is truly a killer. This is gonna be one of the hardest exercises that you're gonna do for your abs. We've got two versions for a little less advanced or a little bit more advanced. The key is that we find a band that we can get a little bit of flex to, but not as much as a lighter band will give. We wanna be nice and hard, barely moving in our hands when we pull as hard as we can. The first version is gonna be for our beginner or novice users. We're gonna be rolling our knees in towards our chest, 
And as soon as we take our hips off the ground, we're gonna try to keep them off the ground as we extend our legs out before we set it down. Remember the key here is hip position. It's not your standard ab roll up where your butt comes off the ground and drops immediately to the ground. You're trying to keep your hips off the ground the entire time you straighten your legs out. So your butt rolls up as soon as your butt gets to the peak, you're now gonna keep your hips off the ground and extend your feet out, trying to keep that butt up the entire time. For the more advanced users out there, we're gonna be doing a little bit more of an extreme version. You're gonna be trying to maintain a flat plank position, utilizing your hands as a lever pull down and use it right in front of your face so that you can lift your entire core up and then walk it back down very slowly. Again, it's all about hip position. When you get to the peak, you're not gonna split at the hips, drop your butt and put your butt on the ground and turn it into a leg raise. The key is to maximize activation. So you're gonna stay in a plank position. When you get to the peak, you're gonna do your best to walk your feet outwards along the wall, keeping your butt off the ground the entire way. When you get towards the bottom, as you get more advanced, you can pull right back up without ever letting your hips hit the ground. If you've never done this exercise before, keep it short, about six to eight reps for four sets until you become a little bit more advanced. Then you can run up to 10 sets of 15, getting a killer ab workout. The ballistic band shred workout is gonna take your abs and your core to the next level. The key is muscle activation, finding the right level of resistance and technique. The hips are very important. If your hips are not engaged in the right ways, you're gonna be finding yourself getting sore in your lower back. If you're sore in your lower back, you're doing something wrong. So focus on the position, review the video, and make sure that you're doing the correct positioning during every exercise.